In step eight, it's time to responsify. We see how it looks in our mobile view. So let's use the slider to move it past that very first break point so we can see what it will look like on larger screens. In this case, we can see that the services area isn't making use of all of that space. So if we select that main container, the services section container, then go ahead and scroll down to the layout and change it to flex. And they will align on the screen. But they get kind of small. So if we change that wrap control to wrap, it will allow them to properly take up as much space as needed on that white screen. Then if we scroll back we'll see that the menu now needs to be changed. So if we select the main wrapper that holds all of those buttons, the nav wrapper, then we're going to scroll down and again use that flex option. And on the controls, we're going to choose to justify center Yep, everything is kind of smushed, so we'll go ahead and first let's apply a little styles on the design section. We'll fill in that background. Let me move this up so you can see. Using that color picker, I can pull the exact color that we're using for those text buttons and click OK. And now if we select any of those text, text links, the styles pane will appear on the side. And on the layout, for the width, we're going to set them for 200 pixels each. And then give them a little space to breathe with 20 pixels left and right padding. If we click that preview button, we're able to see what it looks like That Travel New Horizon subheading though is kind of close. So let's go ahead and get out of the preview. And if we click on it to pull up its style properties, on the right, let's go ahead and add 20 pixels bottom padding. Now it's nice and spaced out. And there we go, everybody. The Visions theme is now perfectly responsified for mobile and larger screens.